Hi! <laughs> Hello! Uh, hey! For those of you who don't already know, my name is Zoe Adeshina. I am a spoken word minister, I am a youth pastor, I am a mentor to a lot of different young people, um, but most importantly, I'm a Christian. And this is my vlog, Questions Answered. Uh, it's been a minute since I've posted or uploaded another episode. I have been busy and also trying to take it a bit easy, trying to, you know, rest and do all the things I'm supposed to do. So, of course, I mean, for those of you who don't know, like recording videos for YouTube and being consistent, editing, producing and uploading, all those different things, it's a lot, especially if you're doing it by yourself. Um, that's not me complaining. <laughs> that's why there's not, I've not uploaded another episode in a minute. But I'm gonna be consistent, okay? I'm gonna be consistent. I'm gonna keep answering you guys' questions, okay? Because this is what this vlog is about. I answer the questions that you send me on social media, the questions I get answered often, and I mean, just questions that pop out from anywhere, really. And I always answer them from a godly and biblical perspective, okay? So get ready to open up your Bibles, all right? Uh, let's just get into today's question. So if you watched the last episode that I uploaded, I was talking about <laughs> why PKs are so snobbish and standoffish. Um, and an important point that I kind of wrapped it up with is that we really need to extend grace to one another as brothers and sisters, members of the same body, because we are one body, all members together in one body, the body of Christ. It's so important that we love one another. It cannot be overemphasized. I don't think we can talk about it enough. In fact, I think we need to talk about it more because sometimes, you know, just looking at and observing how people, you know, discuss with one another and treat one another, you're just kind of like, you know that's your brother, right? You know that's your sister. You know y'all are literally part of the same body. Like, why would you, why would the eye want the foot to hurt? Like, you don't want that, so. Anyways, <laughs> I did say I was going to be talking about how to love the brethren the biblical way. Because when we're talking about loving one another, many people have their own, con you know, idea of what love is. And I just want to make it very clear and apparent what loving the brethren means, what it is, and also what it isn't. So <laughs> that people don't claim that they're not being loved when they actually are in fact being loved very very much so okay so let's just get right into it okay i'm going to start off with this scripture right and it's just gonna take us into a couple of points okay we're gonna read from romans chapter 16 verses 17 and 18 listen to this in case you've not read this in your bible before okay now I urge you, brethren, note those who cause divisions and offenses, contrary to the doctrine which you learned, and avoid them. <laughs> For those who are such do not serve our Lord Jesus Christ, but their own belly, and by smooth words and flattering speech deceive the hearts of the simple. Apostle Paul says, avoid these people okay so now firstly i'm gonna address this them and us talk let's not let's not do that right this is the body of christ and let me just you know just get into what it is i'm saying right now there is in the body of christ no them there is only us okay and this you might be you know saying okay just semantics okay you know that's just english vocabulary descriptors or whatever pronouns it's very important even in your language when you're talking about your brothers and sisters in the lord to be correct <laughs> when you are describing us okay in the body of christ 
There is no them. There is only us. I said it again because it's very important. Okay. So if you hear people saying like, oh, and they told me, and oh, those people they said, oh, you know them, you know them. They're always doing this. They're always doing that. They're always. When you hear people speaking like that on a very consistent basis, it's a signifier that they are, as Apostle Paul said, <laughs> they're not really serving the Lord Jesus Christ. Because when you are serving the Lord Jesus Christ, your aim would be to unify the body, to bring togetherness in the midst of the brethren, not to be someone who is causing division. Even if it's just as simple as a mental division of thinking that there is a them and there is an us, it's not right, you know? One thing that actually I refuse to um, allow myself to do is to believe that in my church, in my local assembly and also in my ministry that there are parts of the ministry that don't involve and concern me and that's not to say that okay like you know i want to put my hand into everything no what i'm saying is that i have a um a concern for everything and anything when it pertains to the body of christ i'm not like oh okay campus ministry doesn't involve me i'm not interested don't bring any of your matters my way <laughs> i'm not like okay children's ministry i don't care oh men's and women i don't care i have a genuine heart for every single thing concerning the body of Christ and, and concerning the togetherness and unity of the body of Christ in the church. And it's the reason why if I see um, any brothers or sisters um, on social media, especially on social media, kind of almost like bashing other Christians, it really upsets me. Like, even if you're justified in your speech, right? Even if truly what these, um, individuals are doing or saying is wrong why you gotta be bashing them online publicly like that's your brother that's your sister <laughs> right so i think we really need to be quick not to see a them versus us we need to be quick to see oh that's a family member right if your brother was posting foolishness online or doing foolish things and saying foolish things your instinct wouldn't be to go and post about it and discuss it online you would be like okay here i need to reach out to this um individual <laughs> and i need to find out if everything is okay um and in love correct them or show them you know the way whatever decision you would make you would do it in love so um we need to be the same way with our brothers and sisters in Christ. In fact, even more so, I dare say, because the Bible tells us that now we no longer know each other after the flesh, which means that now our, um, our oneness is not based on just familial ties. The Bible tells us that we're one, one in Jesus Christ. We, you know, that is how we form our knowing and understanding and our relation between one another right so you know it let's love each other <laughs> let's love each other there is no them versus us there is only us okay now i've realized that this is probably going to be longer than i anticipated it to be which is fine i'm just gonna do another video upload another episode a part two of how to love the brethren biblically okay so please if you hear of or witness you know other brothers and sisters in the lord having this them versus us talk just lovingly correct them you know if it needs to be in, in an intervention type of way okay cool you know do it but do it in love okay there's no need to like be blasting people online we're past that okay like we shouldn't be christians we shouldn't be arguing with each other online that is basically just showing the world that we don't really love each other as much as we claim and we should and we do
and we must because this is one of the signs of a perfect and mature church a blemishless church that the lord is coming back for okay so we need to get our act together real quick we need to start loving each other more and better okay um i will be the first to admit that i've not always demonstrated the love um for the brethren that i should have but now with my understanding of the word and coming into you know just just really giving myself to the word more i i love the brethren i love the people of god as far as i'm concerned i can't not love them it doesn't matter what the people of god do i will love them because god loved us first so stay tuned for the next part of this episode okay um and please subscribe to my channel thank you <laughs> please subscribe to my channel um i hope you enjoyed my dancing that song by the way is by protec featuring ellie j it's called i got love um you can listen to it on spotify um you can watch it on youtube um i'll link his channel somewhere here so that you guys can <laughs> go listen to the song i love the song so much i got love i got love for you i love you the lord jesus loves you even more thank you for watching stay blessed Love, love, love.